Uh, what about the boy, as they say in the business, what about the boy Cantona then, Elton? <laughs> Second of business. Um, what's he done there? I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't think he should have been sent off at Arsenal. No, 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 no. Not the man Cantona, the boy Cantona, Joel of that ilk. Oh. The young one. The young one, yeah. Joel, yeah. yeah. Very interesting little tale, actually, uh, Bob. Um, he went to Peterborough for a short while and it didn't quite work out for him, but um, this past week he's actually signed for Stockport County. Um, and he played for them against Huddersfield, Hartlepool Reserves, I beg your pardon, so during the, the weekend, they won 2 nil. But, I mean, you know a little bit about this as yeah. well, because quite uh, a well, he doesn't speak uh, English. I heard that yeah. his interpreter played in the same side, so he could say, An that lad over there wants to get the ball off you, and yeah. wants you to pass it to him, and things like that. Yeah. And he played for Nîmes, the interpreter, for six yeah. years. Uh, French, the French team, Nîmes, yeah. yeah. So you have to have an interpreter when you go on the field? Well, yeah. no, I mean, I, I think in, in his case, he's been over just a short while, doesn't speak any English at all. Uh, bear in mind, people say that Eric can't speak um, English too well. Now, his, his wife actually teaches English at Leeds University. He speaks better English, you know, than, than he cracks on. I, I, I believe well, that. Well, if, if you don't want to be interviewed, you just pretend you don't speak the language, don't you? That's, a, that's great. first rule. Great get out. If I was in Spain and somebody approached me, I'd say I don't speak Spanish. But then, in fact, I don't speak Spanish. <coughs> well, there you go. I speak Scouse. Yes, thank you. And English. Hey. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, despite the uh, unpredictable nature of the top of Division 2, Stockport County are still one of four sides in with a chance of going up automatically. At Ashley Park tonight, Rob McCaffrey. The first Joel, but the second Cantona in the northwest. Eric's brother, Joel Cantona, is Stockport's new signing. Both were at Wembley on Sunday for a family reunion. Though Joel's back down to earth, he's in Stockport reserves against Wigan tomorrow. Pourquoi Stockport? And with the contact. Roughly translated, he's keen to make a career in England and he's delighted to be at Stockport. They certainly need him. They've lost five of the last seven at home. So what do the old boys make of the new boy? Uh, five foot ten, good looking, dark, you know, nice eyebrows, bushy eyebrows and uh, good touch. What's he like, Monsieur Cantona? Uh, Eric is brilliant, because he didn't play well on Sunday, but, um, you know, wish we could sign him. They could have done with him ten minutes into the game when Brentford went ahead. Jim Gannon, the sweeper, failed to move out and Brentford simply moved in. How Denny Mundy missed, only he will know. Darren Annan couldn't miss. But within a minute, Stockport will level a goal to grace any game. Peter Ward's spectacular half volley with the left foot cracked into the top corner. Nobody moved because nobody had seen it. Really caught it perfectly, and Stockport will level. But then who needs Cantona when you've got Kevin Francis? The big man is just three goals short of a century for County in just three seasons. Not bad, is it? Although well, that was one that got away. But suddenly Stockport were not hitting and hoping. They were slick and quick, and more importantly, organised and confident. Sean Connolly up from the back just couldn't get a decisive touch. But Stockport went in front just before half-time. Chris Beaumont ever willing, and then absolutely clattered by Jamie Bates. Stupid, really. No doubt about that one. And up stepped Kevin Francis to coolly tuck in his 98th goal. Easy. It was a poor second half, it had to be said, but Francis is simply head and shoulders above everybody else. He could have made it 99 there, he knows he should have done. He eventually did make it 99, what England's cricketers would give for a total like that, and what Stockport would give for a few more Francis bullets as they try for promotion once again. I just wonder if, like, because you've been through it twice before, if it's worse for you. It will be worse if you miss out again, because, uh, you, know, you know, where do we go from there? Um, we've all got the feeling we know we've got to do it for ourselves, no one's going to do it for us. Um, you know, we've got no to win. We've got Joel Cantona, we hear all about Eric Cantona. How do you describe your style these days? I'm better and better. 